Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley and this is Crafts with Ash. Today we're gonna make the very popular Dollar Tree Farmhouse Dice. Now, if you see my lips moving and it's not matching what I'm saying, it's because this was originally a Facebook Live, but I condensed it down for a YouTube version. Let's get started. First, we're gonna need two packs of these foam dice that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're gonna be in the toy section. Next, we're gonna use some white Waverly chalk paint and we are going to paint all of the dice. I do recommend using the chalk paint because it gives it more coverage. If you use an acrylic paint, it might bubble up, crack, or you might have to put several coats, but use what you have. The easiest way I've found to paint all of these dice is to put them on a skewer and paint them from there. That way you don't get paint all over your hands and can paint every single side thoroughly. Next, we're gonna give these a farmhouse look. So you're gonna grab some black acrylic paint and a paintbrush and a paper towel, and we are going to dry brush some black acrylic paint onto these dice. So you're gonna dip your paintbrush in the black acrylic paint, you're gonna dab it onto your paper towel, and then you are going to lightly brush the outsides of the dice. Make sure to do this on all six sides. Once you dry brush all six sides, you're gonna take your brush and you're going to lightly put some brush strokes in between each side of the dice. That way, it gives it more of a farmhouse look and you're gonna repeat these steps on all four of your dice. Once you have added black paint to all four of your dice, we are gonna take this pack of stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and we are going to spell out the word snow minus the O. Of course, if you have a Cricut, you can always print out your own letters and put them on there. So first what we're going to do is we're gonna take each letter that we need and we're going to line it up. So we're gonna need the S, the N, and the W. Make sure that the side that has the hole from the skewer is on the bottom because you don't want that to show. Now for my O for my sign, I'm using a small snowflake. Now it was a little too white for me, so I used the dry brush method on the snowflake as well. So I just took some black acrylic paint, put it on the paper towel, and lightly tapped the edges with my paint. Next, I'm gonna give it a rustic farmhouse look. So I'm just gonna take some of that Waverly white chalk paint and I'm going to dry brush some of that on top of each letter, just ever so lightly. If you find that you're a little heavy in some areas, you can just take your finger and lightly brush over it and that will fix it. Now we're gonna grab some Mod Podge and we are going to put a layer of that on top of each letter to protect it from peeling up. Make sure to pay attention to the edges and the corners so they don't come off. Now I'm gonna take the snowflake that I had and I'm gonna take a rhinestone and hot glue it to the middle of the snowflake then hot glue the snowflake onto my dice.
Now I made this craft back in January and thought it might be neat to make it reversible to carry me through Valentine's Day. So I flipped the dice over and took an L, V, E and attached those to the back and basically repeated all the steps. Now for my O for my love sign, I took one of these hearts from this pack of heart stickers from the Dollar Tree that they had in stores back at the beginning of the year and I hot glued that down where the O would be. Next, I wanted to make a tray for my dice. So I took one of these picture frames. This one said wine o'clock, but they have a lot of different ones. I took a scraper and scraped all the lettering off. I have since learned it's so much easier if you use 100% acetone and it rubs right off. Next, I took some twine and starting at the top edge, I just wrapped the twine around and around and around until I got it how I liked it. Finally, I'm gonna make a bow for the front. So I took a very long piece of twine and I'm gonna wrap it around, bring it to the front and tie a bow. Then I'm gonna add some hot glue to give it even more support. And there you have it, the very popular Dollar Tree Farmhouse Dice. What do you think? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that craft. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then pop on Facebook and give us a like and follow. Until next time, I'll craft with you later. Bye.